everyone, it's me. <laughs> um, I just wanted to film a really quick video because Will's gone to town to get his hair cut and I'm actually expecting a call from the hospital in about 15 minutes. So I just wanted to make a quick update video, um, just letting you know where I've been, what's been happening and um, yeah, just to answer some people's questions, I guess, because it's been about four or five weeks now since I uploaded a video maybe even longer than that, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, you can probably tell from my appearance that I'm not looking so great. The cheekbones are back out, the little pointy chin is back out because I've lost a lot of weight. Um, I think in the last weekly vlog I uploaded, I um, vlogged that I was having some blood tests done because I'd started feeling quite poorly again and I thought I was maybe anemic again. Um, I did end up being anemic again but my bloods showed that my Crohn's was active which I already knew I could tell that I wasn't um, feeling tip top. Um, so after I had those blood tests done I deteriorated quite quickly unfortunately which is why I stopped vlogging and haven't put up any other videos. Um, Today I feel um, okay enough to sit here and film this for you, but the majority of other days I have not. So I thought I would just fill you in quickly on what's been happening. Um, so when I got those blood test results back, I called my team at hospital to update them on what was going on and told them that I really felt like I was going to have a flare up now and I needed to be on some new treatment. Uh, for those of you who haven't watched previous videos this year, I wasn't currently on any Crohn's disease treatment because I had had an adverse reaction to my medication back in March and I ended up admitted to hospital for nearly two weeks um, with bone marrow suppression. So it's already been a bit of a tough year anyway and it's ended up just getting worse. Um, but yeah, I contacted the team at my hospital and they got back to me and said that they would put me on the waiting list for this new medication and um, you know we would just sort of see how it went from there uh, but like I say I deteriorated quite quickly and um, within a week I was calling them back because I couldn't eat I'd started dropping quite a lot of weight even in just the space of a week um, it just felt really really unwell was up all night um, with terrible stomach aches and a bad tummy. Um, every time I ate, I was vomiting. Um, and yeah, it was just not good. So I called them back and they actually wanted to admit me to hospital. Mainly they were concerned about the vomiting because that can be signs of a blockage, but I didn't have any other symptoms of a blockage. And I felt like the reason I was being sick was just because I felt so sick. It wasn't because of pain or anything like that. Um, and I obviously wasn't taking in any nutrients or anything, so they were concerned about the fact that my weight had sort of suddenly dropped. Um, but I begged to be able to stay at home. I really didn't want to have to go back into hospital, especially with the way things are at the moment. And they said I could stay at home if I agreed to go on a liquid diet. So I had um, telephone appointments with a dietitian, and within a week I had three crates of milkshakes prescribed to me and I was meant to only drink those and not have any food and that was potentially going to be my life for six weeks um, only drinking these milkshakes but it became clear to me pretty quickly that I could not stand the milkshakes some of the flavors were just absolutely rancid but most of all they were just so so thick and when you have Crohn's and you've lost your appetite you're just not able to drink these big thick drinks. And I tried watering them down, I tried making them into smoothies and stuff, but I just couldn't do it. So there were a couple of weeks where I really wasn't taking in anything other than like ice lollies and yogurts and water. That was basically it, which has resulted in me looking a little bit skeletal right now um, because I've lost a considerable amount of weight, which Normally people would be, you know, pleased if they've lost weight, but when you lose weight this way, it's not a positive at all. So please don't say to me that losing weight is a silver lining of this. I've actually had people say that to me before. It's not a silver lining. It's a sign that I'm really ill um, and it's not fun. 
anyway, things continued to deteriorate and I ended up being taken into the hospital for the same day, like to the same day emergency care department and having scans and um, they wanted to keep me in and tube feed me. Uh, but again, I begged to be allowed home. They gave me some different nutritional supplements to try. And again, I just didn't really get on with them. Um, I was meant to be starting a new treatment. Um, it's called Ustakinumab. And your first dose is given to you through a drip in your arm. And I was meant to be starting that. But unfortunately, I developed a complication, which meant I had to go on antibiotics. So my treatment had to be delayed by 10 days. Um, which when you're feeling so terrible, it was just the longest 10 days of my life. And the antibiotics that I was put on were very strong. You're meant to take them with food and all I had were these milkshakes. So pretty much every dose of the antibiotics that I took came straight back up. Um, it was horrendous. The last couple of weeks in particular have been absolutely horrendous. I've also suffered with inflammatory arthritis, which is something that I get a lot when my Crohn's is bad. Um, there have been times where my this middle finger has been this like three times the size of its normal, you know, self. Um, and the arthritis in it has been so bad that it's actually started to twist the joint. You probably can't see it from here, but the top of my finger is now not facing the right direction um, because the arthritis was so bad. It's massively improved now, but it's still quite painful in the evenings. Uh, but my knees, my hips, my neck, my shoulders, my elbows, everything has been very painful. Um, so yeah, the last couple of weeks have been incredibly hard because not only am I dealing with all of the digestive symptoms of Crohn's, but I also can't really get about. Um, and any time I've had to go to an appointment or go to hospital, it's been a very painful experience. Um, but my antibiotics finished and for some reason that sort of seemed to trigger my appetite to come back again. And I'm not sure if it's because I felt so sick 24 7 while I was on the antibiotics and then all of a sudden I wasn't um but it triggered my appetite a little bit so I've basically been living off toast for the last week and a half but finally I was given a new treatment date and that was Friday the 10th of July so I'm filming this on Monday the 13th so it's only been a couple of days uh, but I went to the infusion clinic I had my candela put in um, I was all ready to have my infusion and then they told me that my uh, inflammation markers were quite high which could suggest that I still had an infection. My inflammation markers were high because I have Crohn's disease <laughs> um, and your inflammation markers are always going to be high when you have a flare up of Crohn's disease but I had to have more blood taken and sit for two hours and finally a gastro pharmacist came in and stepped in and said, look, she needs to have the treatment, she can have it, um, we just need to monitor her closely afterwards. So finally, on the 10th of July, after two hours of waiting, when I should have been on my way home from having the treatment, my treatment finally started um, and basically it's just an hour long drip of uh, the medication and then after that point I will inject myself at home with the same medication every eight weeks. So it's better than the medication I was on previously where I had to inject myself every two weeks um, and also this medication carries less side effects apparently. So we shall see, like I said, it's only been three days and right now I'm, I'm not feeling any better. Um, I feel a little bit more awake today purely because I had to get up for um, an appointment with the dietitian via video call. So I have found that if I get up and, you know, wash my face and, and put a t-shirt on that I feel a little bit more alive. Um, but in terms of all my symptoms and everything, there isn't really an improvement as of yet, which you wouldn't expect in three days anyway. But I normally do respond to treatment quite quickly, so I'm hoping that within a week or two weeks, I will be feeling a lot better. Yeah, obviously I need to feel better as well because I have a wedding update, uh, which is that we can have our legal ceremony in August as we had hoped. Um, I know I did a Tea Time with Chloe like wedding update video where I said that our plan was to hopefully still get legally married this year. 
uh, but we have had confirmation now from the government and from the register office that we can actually have our legal ceremony on our original date so um, I'm really excited about that and I really want to feel better for that um, it will literally be like a 10 minute ceremony with a handful of people and that's it <laughs> but um, we still get to have our big celebration next year we did have to give notice of marriage again because our venue changed from obviously our lovely venue that we had planned to get married at to the registry office for this year but um, we managed to do that somehow I managed to get to the appointment and not faint um, I think adrenaline just kept me going because I we really needed to give notice on that date otherwise we wouldn't have been able to go ahead with the wedding but um, yeah so it's looking like I will be Mrs Prendergast by the end of the summer um, after all which is exciting so we've made a few little plans for that um, and obviously I will keep you updated with that and show you bits and bobs closer to the time and everything um, I don't I'm not going to be weekly vlogging this week um, my goal is to maybe try and start again next week in the hope that I'll be feeling a bit better but I really wanted to give you guys an update because people have been messaging me. Some, A couple of people even asked if I had stopped making videos. Um, no, I've not stopped making videos. I've just been really poorly. Um, but the best thing to do if you want to stay updated is to follow me on Instagram. And the link to that is in the description of all my videos. Um, because I post a lot more on Instagram uh, than I do on YouTube, even when I'm well. And yeah, that's just the best way to keep up to date with me. But my next telephone hospital appointment is at one o'clock and it's four minutes to one now, so I need to go. Um, but if you have any questions about anything that's been happening, do let me know um, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for all of your love and support all the time. It really means a lot to me and yeah, let's hope that I am back to myself again very soon. This year has been a real kicker for everyone, but for me, with my health as well, it's really not been good and I just can't wait for things to go back to normal and for me to feel better so 